and welcome to Sage 100 Training Tips and Tricks Series. Today we're going to go over accounts receivable repetitive invoice entries. Hi, I'm Andrew Crane from Net at Work, and today we're going to go over the different uses and how to use AR repetitive invoices. So inside of accounts receivable, oftentimes we find the need to create a series of invoices. Perhaps we have 50 or 100 customers that we want to bill for service charges for the month. An easy way to do that is utilizing accounts receivable repetitive invoice entry. Inside of account receivable repetitive invoice entry, we have the ability to select which customers that we want to set these up for. We can put a reference in, SERV as an example. We could utilize their purchase order number if they had it. We can figure out a cycle, and the cycle can be M for monthly, it could be four, it could be 30 for the end of the month, it could be 31, it could be any two alphanumeric character that you choose to designate a cycle. When we generate these invoices, we can generate all the invoices that utilize that cycle. I'm going to select 31 because I already have some in there and you can see how it can work. We pick the starting date of the billing as well as an ending date. This contract may only go through the end of the year. So I, I could put the end of the year date and it'll stop billing after that date. We can determine if there's going to be sales tax and how that will be calculated. Again, what are the terms of the invoice? Is there a salesperson that gets credit? Historically, we can look at how many times it's been billed in the past. When we get to the lines tab, we can utilize the miscellaneous tab, miscellaneous items, and select something. So maybe these are fees that we're going to charge, and, and maybe we charge $10 at $25 an hour, or perhaps this could be at $50 an hour. We are creating the template. On the totals, if there's any additional charges, it calculates any commissions or taxes. And in the payments tab, what you'll see here is if there was payment information. So looking back at that one, we have this called service. And you'll see under the header, I have the cycle code as 31. If I look through my other ones, you're going to see that I've used that 31 before. So now that I've set up the template, the next step is to actually run my repetitive invoice selection. I'm going to create a new batch, and this will be, I'll just call it monthly. And then I'm going to pick the, in, the invoice date. I'm going to pick the selection date. Do I want to include any customers that are currently on hold or not? And now you'll see that I have three ways that I can select which invoices I want to generate. If I generated those that only say SERV and proceed, you're going to see what I've selected. And in this case, if I open up my batch, I'm going to preview. This is AR invoice printing. So let's see what it has come up with. So here is the, the one that I did for, for service fees, and that's the only invoice. I do not want to do the sales journal at this time. And if I found that I made a mistake, I can go back, I can go back into my selection process. Notice, let me grab my batch. Notice that I have a clear button and I can reverse everything that I've already done. Now this time, I'm gonna pick the 31 cycle and I'm gonna hit proceed. And if you notice, 
if I wanted to make any adjustments after I select my batch. And if I look at the invoices, these are all the invoices that have been created. This was the one, if you wanted to look at, that we just did for service fees. And if I decided that I needed to change that to 12 hours, I can change any individual invoice. If I needed to remove one or delete it, I could do that as well. I can make any changes that I need to make. Now, the next step would be just like normal processing. I would print my invoices. I'm just going to preview those. And then these are the various invoices that I've created. And there's the last one for the fees that I've changed to 12 hours. Now, the rest is as normal. I'm going to do my accounts receivable sales journal. I'm going to update. And here you'll see my sales journal as typical, as you all know. I'm going to update my sales journal and the daily transaction register. And post. Now, the last thing that I want to do is go back to the repetitive invoice entry. And let's look at the special lookup and see those that I've entered. And there is greater alarm. And if you'll notice, this template is still 10 at $50. But notice on the header that it's keeping track of when the last time it was billed and how often it was billed. So that is the basic process that we use to utilize the repetitive invoice entry. You can select it for specific customers. You can select it for specific cycles or specific reference types. I want to thank you for attending. And should you have any questions about repetitive invoice entry or other ways that you can use some of the tips and tricks of Sage 100, so that you get the most out of your system and help your business grow, please contact your account manager listed above or Lisa Margolis, our consulting manager, or myself, Andrew Crane. Thank you for attending.